there is a new class of legendary commander in rise of kingdoms that glows golden and i'm really trying to figure this out what's going on guys cheers okay now i i know what you're thinking right you're thinking omniarch like all these commanders are glowing gold obviously they're legendaries they're expertise like they're maxed out obviously they're glowing gold and that that's not what i'm talking about okay i'm not talking about the the player icon i mean the literal commander like the whole guy the whole guy glows gold and i'm and i'm i don't know what to make of it okay i really don't know what to make of it so today we're going to talk about that and we're also going to talk about the new face to face with the developers so make sure you stick to the end if you want to find out my thoughts and opinions on all the new things that are allegedly being worked on for rise of kingdoms before we jump in and drop a thumbs up on the video there's no sponsor on this video okay i just i'm thriving off of your support alone okay sub to the channel if you want if you don't just ignore me okay anyway let's jump right into the point of this video golden glow on these legendary commanders this i first noticed during my live stream when i expertised cpo one of the things you'll notice about cpo is if you go ahead and view on him and then you click on him he will say one of his things and then you see that shine that goes across them that that golden gradient that flashes across his entire character let me see if i can get him to do it again and there it is the entire character has a flash a gleam of gold as if he is literally gilded as if he is covered drenched head to toe in gold dust and then this light shines across him and he is just he's like a golden god okay it's actually a sick little animation and i thought that that was really cool until later in the stream i went and i expertised nevsky and that's when i noticed that when you click on nevsky he actually goes ahead and does the same thing i hope you guys are understanding what i'm talking about here you click on him he says something and then there's a shine of gold that goes across his entire character and now you're probably thinking omni arc has lost his mind who gives a shit? who cares what does this mean what, who, what, what does it matter okay these characters glow golden who cares like it's just part of their design and that's what i thought that's what i thought and i was i was confused and so i was like okay well is this like a new update do all of the legendary commanders glow golden now maybe they have to be expertise like does isong a glow golden and it turns out that he doesn't okay i'm looking at him right now there's no golden glow okay so it has nothing to do with him being expertise uh and yet these two commanders still do it now one thing that i actually noticed is that these are not the only two commanders that do it uh but let me just pause for a second okay Wafura, he's a new commander right he came into the game for heroic and the power up does he glow golden no he actually doesn't do anything i don't think they bothered to animate these guys yet okay so maybe it's not on these guys because they have no animation right so then i started to think okay well let's see nevsky does it right so does bertrand do it that's what i was thinking like maybe does bertrand do it and sure enough if you click on bertrand he says something and then he shines gold and look i don't even have him unlocked and he still does the little golden shiny thing okay he does it and boom the top half of his body just has a golden glisten that shines across okay and i promise i have a point to this i'm not just rambling on okay but to further back up my hypothesis i looked at flavius and guess what Flavius does the same thing he will glow gold as well you look at Henry Henry guess what guys Henry actually does the same thing which brings me to Boudica okay who I've been actually been working on Boudica guess what guys she does the same thing the golden goes across her entire body so then I thought okay well how far back does this go because clearly it didn't happen with Isong Ye, so maybe this is like a new thing so then I went back to Suleiman and I was like does Suleiman glow gold he doesn't glow gold what about a manatore let's go back to a manatore let's see does she glow gold she does not she doesn't do it okay so what does this mean this means that nevsky and bertrand were the first commanders to come into the game that have this golden glisten that goes across their body so then i thought okay well maybe this is actually just a new uh sort of animation that they're applying to all the new commanders from nevsky and bertrand onwards right because we've already established that that's the case and then guess what happened after that but mose the third came into the game a brand new legendary commander and unlike wafura and torgny he is animated you see his eyes moving he's kind of got this idle stance where he's kind of hovering there he's looking extremely jacked those forearms are absolutely way out of proportion his forearms are larger than his pecs basically which is absolutely like insane he is a complete monstrosity of a human being who needs to hit chest and leg day for sure but when you click on boot modes you will notice that he does not glow golden and we've already established that it doesn't matter that he's not expertise because the ones i haven't even unlocked yet glow golden okay so we know that's not a prerequisite to get this special golden animation and yet 
even though that Mose is animated came out after Nevsky and I have him unlocked he doesn't glow golden even though he's also a legendary commander so now I started to think I'm like okay clearly this is not an animation that they're just throwing on the latest legendaries because if they were doing that the moves would glow gold as well okay and of course yes we can go back we could check other commanders we could check honda honda does not glow gold you can go back you could check gilgamesh you could check zhang yu okay zhang yu does not glow gold either okay so what does this mean well that's the question that i'm posing to you guys what do you think this golden glow means for these commanders now one thing i will say is that the commanders that glow gold seem to be much more powerful than the commanders that do not go glow gold nevsky came into the game and everyone was like oh my god he is broken he is op he's insane there's no way he's gonna release that good and then he did cpo gets revealed oh my god he has a huge aoe massive debuff he's insane super powerful there's no way he comes to the game that good and he does Utica skills get revealed oh my god single target damage through the roof she's insane she's so good she had a slight change to her her what her third skill or whatever it went from 35 to 25 doesn't matter I understand that, that she technically got a little bit of a nerf there but by and large she's basically as she was when they when they announced her okay so yes Boudica is far and above far and away more powerful than the other archer commanders that we have in the game now that's not to say that Nebu is bad or that Isong is bad I'm not making that argument at all but what I am saying that is that these commanders Boudica Nevsky and CPO they are clearly in a class of their own and it is signified by the fact that they glow golden now I don't know I I swear to you I don't know if other content creators have talked about this I don't know if you guys have noticed this on your own but what do you think this means do you think that these are sort of a new class of legendary right uh, and if that's the case why didn't they create a new legend a new tier of of commander right like they have epic they have legendary they have advanced they have elite right they have the, all the different colors why didn't they add a fifth color and call it heroic or call it mythic or call it something greater than legendary right god tier I don't know whatever you want to call it but but a tier higher than legendary right that's what I'm curious about why did they not do that if they were going to put commanders into the game that were clearly stronger than the rest of them and they knew they were stronger because they all have the same golden animation that goes across them okay Lilith knows that these commanders starting with Nevsky and Bertrand and going up through CPO Flavius Henry and Boudicca Prime they know that these commanders are above and beyond better than the other legendary commanders in the game and it is signified by that golden glow so what's the deal here are what are these commanders part of a future plan are these commanders going to be converted into some new commander type why would they go through the effort of implementing a special animation to signify that these commanders are in fact better and newer and not give any sort of distinction other than that golden glow that is the only thing in the game that would signify that these are better legendary commanders that these are mythic tier legendaries that these are heroic tier legendaries right that's really what these commanders are because it's pretty obvious that they're more powerful than the other legendaries and yet they still take universal legendary commander sculptures which honestly is pretty good right imagine they released something more rare than legendary it's already hard to get your hands on legendary commander sculptures right but imagine they release a new rarity that's even harder to get than legendary and it's even more powerful and then the whales go absolutely nuts I'm glad that these commanders are legendary tier and not something more rare or more expensive or more hard to get okay I like that that is the case but I'm curious as to why Lilith would sort of add this golden glow to them without at least an indicator indicating somewhere that they are a class above right because I think my opinion is that that is what that golden glow signifies it signifies that this commander is stronger than the other legendaries that's what I think it means that's what it seems to be to me so I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments section below now let's talk about the most the third okay because I've got him unlocked here he's level one I haven't done anything with your boy okay uh and as you can see here I have no more sculptures of him why because there actually is not another way to get them there's no other way to get the most the third as of this point okay the Egypt event I believe it's it's gone it's gone as of today okay the Egypt event came and it went it's over all right we've, we've got no no remnants of it at all there's nothing that you can do here so at this point Thutmose the third what is the deal Lilith what are we what are we doing with this guy okay 
uh you can put universals into him so it's not like he's ethel fled right he certainly is not like ethel fled but he's also not in the gold keys what is the future of footmos the third i'm confused my suspicion is that either they're going to add him into the gold keys soon which is a good thing because young man has been saving his gosh darn i've been really this is burning a hole in my pocket and i have no reason to open these so that's why they're chilling uh, i really want mulan i would love to like max out with med and stuff like that but regardless other than that like this that's not really a priority for me okay but i'm pretty sure when ragnar came into the game which was last year when vikings were announced I'm pretty sure Ragnar was put in the gold keys immediately. And you guys can correct me in the comment section if I'm, if I'm wrong, but again, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Ragnar was just dumped in gold chests right when he came out. Uh, and so the fact that they haven't done that yet with Thutmose is really interesting. It's really unique. And I don't know what to think about it. Now, a lot of people have been saying that Thutmose is going to be the new Lubu, that he is just going to come. They're going to use him as an event. He's going to be this special thing for a limited time and you can get him for free if you played the game and beyond that he's going to be gone he won't be obtainable by new players okay because that's the deal with lubu okay if you guys didn't know there was a dynasty warriors 9 collaboration you could get lubu for 20 dollars. i unlocked him just for fun and since then there's been no way to get him now the thing about that right there was just a bundle the thing about lubu and the reason that i don't think that Thutmose and Lubu are going down the same path is because Lilith owns Thutmose the third this is their design this is their character okay I get that it's based on a historical figure but like this is Thutmose the third from Rise of Kingdoms this is their guy okay this Lubu is not their character this is not their original concept or design or anything like that obviously his he was stylized to fit within the rise of kingdoms universe uh, but this is not their character as indicated by dynasty warriors nine so my assumption is that lilith no longer has a reason to show love to lubu because their partnership with dynasty warriors nine is over they don't care about lubu anymore he was a marketing ploy and now they threw him in the trash okay that's what i think happened with lubu and it makes sense and that's why he came out and he was absolute trash he's garbage he's just there's no reason to ever invest in lubu okay he's sort of a novelty at this point if you have him that means you've been playing the game too long but besides that uh Thutmose the third there's no reason to think that Thutmose would go down the same path he wasn't available in a bundle yes he was available during an event but there's no reason why Lilith would go through all of that effort to put the most in the game and then just not have him available there was an incentive for them to put lubu into the game here they've made zero dollars off of footmos right he didn't come with a wheel he didn't come with the mightiest governor they didn't there, there was no there's no reason for that there's no reason for him to be locked away forever like he's some sort of egyptian god card or something like that and he's not even that powerful right um but what i will say is that he does seem to be slightly more powerful than what we're used to from a gold key commander is he on the par with charles martel maybe i think he's he's there's definitely a lot to love about the most he's very well rounded he doesn't do one thing like perfect right but i think for a gold key commander if you compare him to the other gold key commanders i think he's amongst the best but that also lends me the idea that perhaps he's not going to be a gold key commander what if they do have some other implementation for the most the third what if they actually put him in the expedition what if they put him in the expedition shop here okay that would be really cool and a way that we can replace ethel fled for older players and get the most the third okay i think that would be really cool um the thing about that though is that right now um he's already in the game and you can use universals on him right that's the thing that makes me think that maybe he won't come to the expedition metal store because right now i could max him if i wanted to and that's not the case when ethel flood came into the game you couldn't use universals on her at least not to my knowledge that was a very long time ago yet here we are with the most and there is a way so i don't think he's gonna be in in the in the expedition metal store maybe i'll be wrong hopefully i'm praying that i'll be wrong but he also seems a little bit more powerful than the other gold key commanders so maybe he won't be in gold keys either but i don't think he'll just be a bundle like lubu so what's the deal lilith what are we doing here with this guy okay are you gonna have to unlock him by playing champions of olympia are you gonna force us to actually play that garbage game mode because my god i will leave him at one star lilith i'll do it i will not i swear to you i will not play champions of olympia for the most of third okay i'm not gonna do it okay with that out of the way my little rant there okay let's talk about the face-to-face -face with the developers okay how do the new legendary quality cpo and Boudica differ from the epic counterparts this is something that we have uh, we've sort of deduced as a community okay these commanders are supposed to be a representation of these historical figures at their peak and i just want to say for the record okay i've said since day one that cpo and CPO Prime were the exact same historical figure, and I was right. Okay, I was right. Everyone, round of applause for me, ladies and gentlemen. They said it right here. 
okay everyone in the comment section when i said oh there's a new cpo coming that makes no sense everyone was like oh uh, actually omni arc oh there were two cpos in history and i was like i'm pretty sure they're the same person and it turns out i was right so i want you all to apologize in the comment section below for being mean to me okay i was right it's fine this happens rarely so let me just give me this okay my life is sad and pathetic just let me have this one little victory okay moving on okay so we know what prime commanders are and yes they are saying that there will be more prime commanders in the future now what do i think about this honestly i don't care i, I really don't care this doesn't persuade me in one way or another to like or hate the feature to me it does not matter okay i know a lot of people think that it's lazy or that it's it's uh, not creative whatever i don't care uh and the reason that i don't care is because it's not like um it's not like these commanders look identical okay they're still putting in the effort for a new design they're putting in the effort for uh new uh like different talent builds right it's different talent builds on epic cpo with legendary cpo they have different skills they have different icons they have different animations it's not lazy they're new commanders okay so whether you call this cpo or you call it hercules or you call it uh you know sid from toy story i don't care what the new commander is all i care about is what he does okay what does he do what are his skills what are his talent trees that's what i care about okay they can put darth vader in the game and sure that would break immersion a little bit but i'd be like okay well is he infantry is he cavalry like what is he like how am i going to use him right so truthfully i don't care it's not a, it's not something that i'm complaining about it's not something that i really care about so new prime commanders great they do ask here what commanders do we want to see prime in the future i think kusanoki prime would be cool because i want to see more badass samurais i think more badass samurais everyone's happy okay i think that's really awesome i would also love to see a prime joan of arc and a prime sun Tzu because those commanders are historically incredible and in the late game they really don't get used as much now i know some free-to-play players might use sun tzu and some people use joan for buffing and sunset i get that uh, and they're they're saying here that they want to use commanders that people nobody like no one uses them right um so maybe they won't do sun tzu and 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 joan of arc um those are the ones that i would want to see uh other than that i would say sepia but we got him already so honestly i'm pretty much big chilling but kusunoki is super badass and if you've seen the cinematic with him you know what i'm talking about he's super cool and no one ever uses him because he's garbage so i think a kusunoki prime coming in the future would be super cool give me a reason to use a samurai lilith i really want to use a samurai okay and no i will not use minamoto even with his relic i'm not interested now they said something about a blacklist feature i don't really care about this iconic crystals are too easy to get but there's also not enough of them given um there certainly have been very few iconic crystals that came into the game uh and they are certainly easy to get i would say that that is definitely uh that's definitely true but at the end of the day i think the point of them is that there's not supposed to be a lot of them right if i'm not mistaken i feel like they're supposed to like go into very special pieces of equipment so them being uh less common i think is is fine right i think that's totally cool a sword by power is a feature that i certainly miss and they're putting bringing that back which is very good no one cares about champions of olympia and here's the part that everyone is talking about okay major changes all right heroic anthem power up has ranged warfare and they are thinking about and apparently already in works already in development for bringing a ranged unit type now for me i immediately think archers but what it says here is that it looks like you'll be able to have ranged archers ranged cavalry and ranged infantry i mean you could have i guess axe throwers would be ranged infantry or throwing a javelin throwing a spear would be like a ranged infantry or or even a ranged cavalry i guess or you think about like genghis khan he in the game he's literally cavalry but he's holding a bow and arrow so you could have a cavalry you could be on your horseback right with your bow and arrow and you could technically be a ranged cavalry now that's cool i think that that's how war was actually waged right i think that's pretty sick uh the the part about it that i don't that i can't really get behind um is the functionality behind it okay we are in heroic anthem power up right now um and the ranged combat just it feels gimmicky and maybe that's just because it's just the arrow tower and 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 they're not that powerful and i'm not really like i don't know i don't ever use them now it's good for free-to-play players because they have two legendary with Torgni and Wafura. They can actually just build a tower and they can support in their own way. And I think that's great. And I think that's very good. Um, but you know, does the concept of ranged combat excite me? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't really say it depends on how it's implemented. Um, it's not, it's certainly not something that I'm begging for. It's certainly not something that I think the game like absolutely needs um will it add more sort of uh complexity and more strategy to the game i guess probably 
right i guess probably but here's the thing like if i'm a free-to-play player if a if a whale can kill me without me even being able to go and, and touch him that's the problem right like if you just are like like if i have zang Nevsky and i may and he's ranged right and you're just you're you're a god tier player with maxed gear max tech max everything right and you have max vip level and now you're ranged and i can s just snipe you and just like you have half health by the time you even get to me like that would feel really cheesy and really bad so and i'm not saying that that's what they're intending to do yo the people in new york with their cars guys i live in new york city there are people that drive around who intentionally have loud cars listen if you're watching it sounds like shit, dude no one's impressed it's so annoying anyway range combat i'm sort of ambivalent right I'm not excited for it but i don't hate the idea i just think the arrow towers are kind of boring i don't think the game needs it but it could be interesting if it's done correctly with that being said guys thank you so much for watching comment down below your thoughts on everything we talked about in this video because my opinions mean nothing without yours down below drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace